Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Piper. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Aloha. <laughs> All right, so if you didn't see it, uh, yesterday, Friday, February something, 14th. 14th. It was Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Hope um, Valentine's Day was nice. We put out a writ dye tutorial, mm -hmm. as well as loaded up our shop with another stitching. Why not? Um, this is called Crunch. If you could hand it to me, Vanna. Thank you. <laughs> uh, crunch. So this is part of a, we'll say yeah. it's a series, right? It's mm -hmm. a series. Um, if you're finishing them on these tins, I'd recommend up one more. getting a third one. <laughs> um, just, you know, FYI. Uh, but this is Crunch. So she finished this on Peter, Brand, Peter Bunny Brand's uh, tin. Yeah. I saw a question asking how we do this. So I draw the chalkboard, Chelsea gets it and makes it into our cross stitch chart. So. And then she, so she's been stitching all of these and then I go back and stitch them. I, I don't have, she's a fast stitcher and I don't have the time to, to stitch because I want to be working on the next thing. We already had um, two designs that we had to do for the retreat mm -hmm. pieces uh, that we're going to in March and April, Arkansas and Virginia. Um, and we thought, you know, we were already charting for that. So why not throw this together? Mm -hmm. uh, we have absolutely adored the reviews. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for posting a review. We really appreciate it. Everybody loves the radishes. Mm -hmm. So originally she sent me a picture of flowers and she's like, well, I drew one with radishes too. Which would you prefer? And I was like, radishes, duh. Mm -hmm. And erase <laughs> it and draw the radishes back. <laughs> um, but this is a little bunny. It's hard to see on the chart because I couldn't get to print. So I just want to let you know the back stitching for the carrots um, and his whiskers. It look it's black lines, but it's actually used mm -hmm. the white thread. But it's in the instructions. I put in the instructions if you care to read them. And I want to say, yes. I'm sorry for using so many colors, but <laughs> you can substitute DMC for the little pieces. Yes. Or I would use the fancy floss definitely for the bunny and mm -hmm. the cup. Mm -hmm. Um, but. Last week, I wanted to apologize as well. I didn't double, triple check. I used an online source for my conversion for the cup and I used DMC 840. That's obviously not the color of a Ray Dunn cup. So we have substituted for 3865. I went and revamped the chart. Like You told everybody last week. Oh, I did? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh, I it did it at night. Oh, okay. Oh I just wanted to say I am. There's a lot going on. Um, more that I'll share next week. Um, but Any cookies? Oh, but that I'm not pregnant. Don't think that. Oh, okay. I don't. Don't get the messages. No, I'm I not. Am. <laughs> right. No, I'm not. But there's a lot going on. Mason jar with hearts. Yeah, let me show them up close. And everybody who said, "Oh, it looks like Cash needs a cookie in the video." As soon as he got one. here, yeah, as soon as he got here, and it was like eight o'clock in the morning, he grabbed the whole Ziploc and mm. she took it away from him, and he had a total meltdown. So <laughs> he was allowed a cookie for breakfast. But Mason jars and hearts, and they're um, like triple layer cookie. But very pretty, very cute. That's what you spent doing Thursday, I think it was. I think so. I did not sleep at all, and my eyes feel like I've been crying for six years because of it. My dog was up like every hour, like her dogs. Yeah. It's like they talk to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine have this thing between three and four thirty. They have to get up and they have to eat. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those were our two announcements. So you can check that out. I think it's her fault. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stitching Housewives on Etsy is mm -hmm. where you can get the two yes. uh, charts that we have, Hello Spring and Crunch. And then our Rit Dye tutorial, it should be in the below here. Also, uh, a little YouTube update. Comments has yes, now moved right and it's now. Already, oh, right, yay. it's messing me up already. <laughs> so right below our video should be a little, it says comments and then you yep. hit the arrow and it drops it down and then there's like a bunch of videos below that. Yep, so you don't have to scroll through all the videos to get the comments, so it's easier all for right. you. Let's get into the questions. Do you have any more announcements? Those are my no, announcements. No, when we did the Ritai video yesterday, we only did two colors, but then after Chelsea left, I did more. More. Four more colors. That was like the beginner Rit dye, and then we're yeah. going to do another Rit dye. Where you use more than one color on a piece of fabric. Yes. Yep. Murph's mom, you put the dyed fabric straight into the tea bath after it was rinsed clear, correct? Yes. You don't allow it to dry, you no, just dunk no, it. No, 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 no. Brenda, will Fat Quarter Shop be carrying the two different color gloves anytime soon? 
Hopefully. <laughs> I was like, well, we're, cause you know, she's like perfection. So she's like, I'm like, are we going to show these two different colored gloves in the video? I obviously have to make a joke about it. Uh, Sue, so, <laughs> she didn't, but the hole in it was yeah, real. My nails are <laughs> blue underneath. So. Sue, so did the process work well on the Lori Holt fabric? I'll show you that fabric it's, when mom does it. It's but yeah. lighter though, and it's different. It's a different color. So yeah, I'd say it's more denim mm -hmm. me blue. I think it's ever. periwinkle, but okay. And we didn't tea dye her. Right. That. We wanted to show the difference between Dunky and the tea dye and not. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to give you options. Mm -hmm. Angelia, have you ever writ dyed after you've coffee tea dyed? I'm not happy with how my coffee tea dye turned out, and I was thinking about dyeing it. I think I did that once. I don't know how it would and just try it. Yeah. If, if As long as you're not like using linen that's really expensive. If you're right. using a piece of Monaco or Ada that's not that much money, then go for go it. Go for it. Yep. Maria, great tutorial. Do you ever combine or mix two different dyes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we'll get that to you in four years. Terry, why do you use the salt? Because the it sets the instructions said to It you. sets the dye better. Yes. There's so, also a liquid dish soap, but we chose right, the you salt. Could, you could use liquid dish soap or salt, but I've just used the salt. So. Yes. All right. And I know now, like, I've got a few spots on my fabric, and those spots are from the salt. If it doesn't get dissolved, it holds on to the dye, and it makes dots on your fabric. You Googled it? No, but I got eyes. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. We were looking at that yesterday, and I was like, why does it do that? So she figured it out. Carla, hi, I'm a new subscriber and new to cross stitch. So make sure your salt is <laughs> dissolved. Right, hot water, hot water yeah. and stir it. I'm new to cross stitch, new subscriber. Hi, Carla, thank you. And what is sticky board? It's needlework board that we attach. One side attaches. is sticky, one side is not. So I mount the stitching to it and then wrap it around oh. and hot glue it. You can see videos where we've done tutorials on that. Yep, through Fat Quarter Shop. They mm -hmm. might be in but ours. they might be on ours too. Yep. There's some on ours, some on theirs. Okay. Tony, where do all the pets sleep? In my bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so my dogs sleep in my bed as well. All three of them. I couldn't Calvin bear sleeps them. down here on the couch. Or... He, does. he used to sleep in my chair until Tiger came, and now he won't go in my chair anymore. Oh. Yeah. But he does sleep on my ottoman because he slept on my cross stitch. But yes, for those people that sleep with your pets, if you think that's gross, don't put it in the comments. Just leave it. <laughs> I don't sleep with my chickens, so I, I have boundaries. <laughs> Uh, Marie, when purchasing, or Mary, I'm not sure, when purchasing new charts, how do you keep track of what you've purchased? I just have a good memory. She has a very good memory, and so I can ask her if I've purchased something, because <laughs> it's usually run through here, so. But, um, there are apps like Xstitch, on uh, mm -hmm. Android and iPhone that you can use to keep track of your stuff. Sure. I would suggest that if you don't have the best memory. Um, uh, where did you find the egg carton, Michaels? Michaels. And I've noticed that some of the stuff like this tin isn't on their website. I haven't been able to find it, at, at least, on their website. But it's they have different stuff in the stores than they do. And if you go to my blog, it's linked below. All the sources for everything are okay. put there. Per perfect. Marlene, uh, do, you, do you sleep sh and shower in your Pandora bracelets? Mm -hmm. Marlene, I am too lazy to take <laughs> off my makeup. So I'm definitely not taking off three Pandora bracelets or my bra for that matter. So yes, I sleep and shower in my Pandora bracelets. And a bra. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I learned it from you, so I don't want to hear it. Janet, PG, sorry guys. How do I put the PDF on my tablet? Do I pic take a picture of it or is it there any other way? We have iPhones and we're able to download it into iBooks and that's where we store mm -hmm. our PDFs. So when you do your email and it says download and you get the download, you can like click on the picture, then click, or the chart, click the arrow up on top. It's like a box it's a with an arrow. With an arrow, if you have an iPhone or an iPad. Yeah. And then it says, like it gives you a bunch of choices, but put it in iBooks and then mm -hmm. every time you go to iBooks, it's in there for you. Yep. And I'm... She's a pro with that. Technology challenge, <laughs> and I can do it, so you can do it. <laughs> um, Diane, what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? I did nothing because my husband is sick. Uh, you hung out with me. We okay. went and did some done hunting. We went and dropped giveaways off of the post office. We filmed a writ dye tutorial. We uploaded some stuff to Etsy. We also... Did I say done hunting already? We went to Potbelly for lunch. I'm just trying to make it sound like it was a romantic day. 
Then I went and picked up one of the kids. Then I went more done hunting. Then I went and picked up the second kid. And then I went to Culver's because I didn't feel like cooking. And then I was home for maybe 10 minutes to let them eat. And then we went back and dropped her off at a dance. That was my evening. What'd you do? You weren't answering my text messages. So what were you doing? When did you text me? I don't know. I said something to you and you didn't I answer. I fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. And we were talking. The dog got me up at like 3 a.m. yesterday. I can't, I can't go 24 hours a day with no sleep. We were, ch we were talking about the Jodi Arias case oh. in the group chat, too, and you didn't answer about that. I turned it off. It was just, oh. mm, it was okay. I was watching channel something or other with two kids, about two kids missing or a kid missing, and she killed the husband or something. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. It was on 2020 with Dateline. Kimberly's got her hooked. She even listens to podcasts now. <laughs> All right. Only some because I get too scared. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to the question. Sorry. Kathy, what colors did you use for Bloomtopia? They're on her Facebook page, or Instagram page. Sorry. She is. No, they're, uh, they're both on my blog. If you're talking to her, hers are on my blog and mine are on my blog. Beverly, where are Nala and Sam? They got their own house. Yeah. They got their own house, moved out. They have horses in their backyard and they're mm -hmm. running all around. Um, how did you keep those boys fed when they were growing up? It seems like teenage boys are always hungry. Well, they were, because they were in sports, and it was like nonstop. nonstop. Three meals a day. Yeah. Well, that's normal. But no, I... <laughs> like big meals. Like She doesn't know how to cook small now. So, like, yeah. I learned how to cook. My life a... sucks now. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to cook a feast because of her. Like, when it was just my, my husband and myself, like, I, we'd have all these leftovers because I learned how to cook troughs of stuff and now she cooks troughs of stuff and then it sits in the right. fridge until I, somebody comes eat and eats it. We've eaten chicken tortilla soup four <laughs> nights this week. It's ridiculous. And but then yes. I took out a turkey to cook today so I'll be eating that for the next 12 a years. A 20 pound turkey. I looked over and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, she and big filling meals because they were always hungry. They still are, though. They come over and they're like, what's for food? What's for dinner? She's gotten to where she freezes stuff for uh, one of my brothers. She freezes any leftovers and he just takes sacks, Ziploc, yeah. Ziploc bags of it. He gets TV dinners. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Sorry. Smurfette stitches. I know you just said you cut down your Annabelle's in early spring. Mm -hmm. Mine has already started to bud partway up the stems. Do you cut them right down, like down all the way, or should I cut them above where they have started to set some buds? Okay, so my neighbor across the street, he cuts his all the way down. I don't cut mine all the way down. You're supposed to cut a third of the top of the bush off and leave okay. two thirds. Okay, but he just cuts them I all down. I do mine by about half because okay. where they are, they flop. I have problems with the rain when it gets heavy rain it, because of the gutter up above and ugh. Hers flop a lot, so she just wants them a little bit shorter mm -hmm. to start and with. And I've thought about digging them out this year and putting more sturdy things in and moving those further out so that they wouldn't get attacked by the gutters when we have heavy rains, but they're so pretty, they're happen. a very big statement piece. Mm -hmm. Leslie, who are your favorite YouTube gardeners? So a garden answer. From garden answer. Uh, that's a big one. I, I, I like Gary, the rusty gardener. Rusted gardener. Yep. Epic gardening. Um, am I gardener? He's, he's kind of, um, yeah, I'm not into eh. him. um, and then roots and refuge. I like her garden tours. But our number one is Laura, garden answer. Jennifer, do you, <laughs> she was the funny one with her husband saying, are you going to leave that out all the time? For her at light, she said, do you leave your at light out all the time? Except Heck, for when yeah. there's a home to it, right? right. Goes in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Shoved in the bathroom. But yeah. Yeah. Hers is in, kind of in the corner though, so you don't really, it's not like a focal piece. Mine's in my bedroom. So yeah, I'm leaving it up there all the time. Tell your husband to just get over it. <laughs> um, just kidding. Just kidding. He's I kind of wish sometimes that the, the tall ones had like a telescoping thing that you could take it up and down because then I could like put it behind my chair and nobody would see it. Oh, that'd be. Yeah. Let's so at light, at light. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Michelle, I'm unable to find the link for Hello Spring. Can you help? It's in the description box. You can also go to Stitching Housewives on with no spaces in between on, on Etsy. Etsy. And anytime mom does a blog post about it, it'll yep, be linked there too. You can click there. Karen, is there anything else you can use besides the glass dish, like maybe a disposable pan? So this is our friend Karen. She says the glass pans are too heavy to get out of the oven for her. I am not sure. I'm not sure either. So you I probably Google it. Yeah. With the salt, wouldn't the aluminum like react? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, we don't want to tell you something. No. We, she's only used glass pans. Yep. So that's how we've we've mm -hmm. done it. 
Terry, I know you press the fabric before using it, so we, we don't. don't. Um, but are you able to get all the wrinkles out of it? If yes. so, are you using a spray to help? No. Uh, the oils in our hands help loosen and just using mm -hmm. the fabric that we do. Yep. It I, I don't it. ever have wrinkles in my pieces when they're finished. Yep. So she turns it upside down on uh, a towel on the ironing board and yep. irons it. And I do use steam. Yes. But no spray, no water, no nothing. Tammy, what app do you use to download your digital charts? So we don't use an app. Uh, they're in iBooks. iBooks. H.J. Kingston, do the appetizer spreads you do at the holidays ever get put on the blog? No. This year? I don't know. I said I'm not doing it this year. Oh, yeah. You said, <laughs> it was a lot of work last year. She was peeved about it because nobody <laughs> ate anything. Everybody just sat in the family room. I was helping. Sometimes. No, they ate, but it was like I had leftovers that I could have fed the neighborhood yep. three days in a row. Janelle, do you have a schedule for housework? What's your plan of attack? One room a day, laundry around Mondays. I feel like I'm always doing housework. I do yeah. laundry uh, once or twice a day. So we have a lot of clothes for whatever reason and I don't let them like reuse towels and stuff. So I, I do laundry once a day. Every Sunday, everybody has to have their sheets washed. Dishes, I do twice a day. Um, and then as far as cleaning each room, I have to vacuum every day, every day because I have dogs that bring in mud and mm -hmm. chickens and crap. Just yuck. What about you? And dusting is like once a week. Mm -hmm. Dusting is like a spot dust. I mean, I'm not I kind of do it as needed. Yeah. Um, I used to, every Monday when the kids would go back to school, that was my day that I would clean. And I don't do that anymore. Just do it as needed. Yeah. What, I have three I dogs, vacuum though, probably so hard, yeah. three to four times a week. Dishes you do once a day. Yeah, at least. Yeah. It depends on how much you're cooking. Mm -hmm. Like I get up in the morning and I put the dishes away from the night before. Then in the afternoon, if I've made lunch and stuff, I do dishes again. And at night, dishes. Mm -hmm. I, I like to always be moving. So I'm always doing something. Um, laundry, I fold it while Cash is in the bathtub because I can do it simultaneously. I just try to multitask, I guess. And I try to get it all done by 7.30 so that I can sit my butt in my chair and stitch. <laughs> Um, all right, Rosetta, I'm a beginner at cross stitch, but would like to try something other than Ada. What do you suggest? 28 count Monaco. Monaco, Lugana, something even weave. Um, I, even would, I would probably try it though first. I would do a small chart on Ada. Well, I think she's done Ada. I think she's uh, she's saying she wants to try something okay. other. Um, we got this 25 count Lugana that's new from Lori Holt. Yeah, I've, so that, that might help too. It's a sturdier fabric, I'd say. It's still flimsy, but it's a sturdier fabric. Mm -hmm. We like Monaco because it's it's not crunchy, but it's stiff. It holds its own when it, we're stitching in hand to help us. And, and another thing about Monaco too that we never talk about is it's very reasonably priced. So yeah. we aren't breaking the bank and it still looks really good yeah. because we do things with it. Right, 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 right. We have tried to make this hobby economical for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So... We pick our own threads that we might have in our stash. We um, use fabric that is an economical price and mm -hmm. just writ diet if we need to or coffee tea diet. And then using res uh, resources like frames and stuff that we can find at the mm -hmm. thrift shop. Or, Instead of paying for expensive framing. Right. Yes. That's, that's how we're able to mm -hmm. do this hobby and do it so right. frequently. And, and do so many pieces. Right. Because if I was having something framed, I'd probably do two pieces a year. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Um, Danny, I saw you at the grocery store, but I was too chicken to say hi. You should have said hi. I was in the car waiting outside for her. <laughs> if it was at Jewel in Round Lake, I think. That's the only grocery store she said she was at. Mm -hmm. But yeah, next time, when I say saw hi. That, I said, I, w I wasn't at the store on <laughs> Saturday. And then I remembered I had to run in there to get some fruit and yeah. half and half. And... But next time, say hi. Mm -hmm. Michelle. Oh, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Michelle wants the, she'll get really red and do her laugh like she does. Uh, Michelle <laughs> wants the most efficient way to rip out stitches, scissors, or a seam ripper. Either, you just need to be careful with your fabric. Yes. Jacqueline, what do you cut your sticky board with? It's a guillotine cutter. Mm -hmm. We have Got it listed it. in mm -hmm. our Amazon. That's the Amazon shop. Erin, how do you come up with your finishing ideas? I struggle to come up with ideas that don't look repetitive. I just She's very them. creative. Like, she is... She's got that gene, she's got that talent where she can look at something and say, I know how I want to do that. And it's different all the time. Beth, do you ever use glass on any of your framed pieces? I don't frame anything in the traditional way. Okay, that's all the questions we have for you. Thank that's you good. for sticking through that. Okay, 
so for previous finishes, this was the first series I did with Kathy at Hands On Design, and this was in the Just Cross Stitch magazine in 2016. So I thought I'd show you how it goes from winter. I will add some tulips to it. To spring. I don't know if it's straight or not. But I'm going to add some tulips up at the top and hang it back up and it's all ready to go. And these are flat. There's a sticky board. So they all fit in a little drawer behind me. Did you get some new lip gloss? Yeah, I did. Looks you know, nice. I guess. Looks nice. This is Lizzie Kate this Winter. This one is broken, right? No, oh. I had to get a new one because I had this frame in aqua, but it broke. So, okay. and I couldn't get it glued back together where it it was, I knew there was one. I always right. had to be careful and hold it. So this is more of a sagey green, mm -hmm. which I like. Yeah. But we'll have to see if it goes Matches with the rest perfect. of the seasons. And if it doesn't, then I'll spray paint it. But this is Lizzie Kate Four Seasons, is it? I think so, yes. yes. I had started that. I had But finished. these all just fit on here with a clip. And then, like you can see, the bow is just tucked on there. And that will be coming off and spring will be going up. It's She's really excited one. to start decorating for spring. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait for Valentine's Day to be over because I just want to get the trees down. I'm ready for them to come down. And then I finished, of course, this week, Crunch. And I, when, when I drew it and I told Chelsea the name, she was like, hmm. Crunch. But I think it's really cute. I do too. After we added the radishes, it made a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. So that's it. I think he's cute. Or should we show him these? Yeah, show them these. So these were something we also did too. First, I'll show you. This is no, 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 no. I got them in order so I can. Okay, these are these are the two aquas. You can see one was left in the tea coffee and longer. I did tea coffee dye the second one. The second one is the prettier one. Okay. These are both denim blue. This is the Lugana, the twenty-five count. Somebody was and it was not coffee tea dyed. And this is Monaco, and it was tea coffee dyed. Okay, this is evening blue with some gray um what color is that gray charcoal gray and some tan see this is wrinkly and we don't mind so we put some stitches in it once we start using it it'll soften up and it'll be just fine and i think that that was done on the cream colored okay monaco, monaco. this was also done on the cream colored monaco this is apple green with tea coffee hard to see this one but it's a very pretty green uh... Okay, this is charcoal gray, and you can see yeah, oh, right there at the spots. But we can turn it over, and it was also coffee tea dyed. But you could use the charcoal gray for the chalkboard pieces really easily. Yeah. Yeah. Or Halloween. You definitely could. This is still grungy mm -hmm. enough, and it would be light enough that you'd be able to see the holes better than a, a straight black fabric. And then we get a lot of questions about that. This is evening blue on Acru Monaco, and then coffee tea dyed. Is that what it's called? What? Ecru? I don't know that it's Ecru. What is it? It's not Ecru, but it's, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's the cream colored stuff. It's not white. But it's not the tea coffee dye. Wasn't that pretty? It's very pretty. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, it was tea coffee dye. No, I'm saying they have a tea coffee dye. No, I did coffee. not use any of the tea coffee for writ dyeing. I save that for tea coffee dyeing because mm -hmm. it makes it look extra mm -hmm. dark. But I thought that since I had the pot of tea coffee that I would do some more fabrics because we need fabric for mania. So mm -hmm. that's what I did. All right, your stuff. All right, whips. Uh, whips, 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 whips. All right, so I pulled this out. This is uh, Little House Needleworks. If you guys haven't started already, I suggest you start following the designers that you're most interested in because they have started sharing their mm -hmm. uh, market releases mm -hmm. and your local shop and whatever can, they have usually a, like a link that you can see all the market releases, but you can start getting excited yeah. for that. I'm excited for the square dance Christmas ones. From yeah, Japan. absolutely. So and she had a garden little circle mm -hmm. one that I was really, I don't know the name. I'm sorry, technical name. I don't know. Uh, Farm Life. This is Little House Needleworks. I absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's Kelly. Love this one. And this is one that I'm going to be doing to have up all the time. I don't want him by me. I really don't. <laughs> but I did more of the tree while I was watching 90 Day Fiance and that train wreck. Oh my goodness. Of a show. You're nuts. <laughs> it's a train wreck. 
I also watch. Um, I'm trying to tempt him over here with the cookies. Married at first sight, too. and that is a train wreck as well. All right, the next one. This was on Witchy Wednesday. I can't believe you watch those. Why you Survivor started, started me started watching this week. Somebody said it was going to be really good. Is it all yeah. military or something? No, it's all old oh, people who have won. Oh, that's what they and meant by Rob veterans. And his wife. Oh my gosh. Veterans. And from <laughs> Rob's wife got killed the first time. She did? Yeah. Did you like her? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Amber. Halloween sampler. Um, I did more of Halloween. This one is really pretty. I really enjoy that one. And I'm doing, I'm just going to do all the words first and then I'll go in and fill out these little doodads. Okay, next. Get him away from me. <laughs> if you guys could see him, he's just sitting there watching Chelsea. It's funny. Ooh, I don't know. Can you find my boom to be on that, please? And then next I have um, this. This is my, what is it, Wolamina? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wilhelmina. Plum Street Samplers. I haven't seen Has she done any sneak peeks yet? No, I have not seen them. No. So I've done more greenery and I filled in some of the flowers. I hope she does another one of those things like the... I'll talk about it when I get to mine. Your um, milk and cream comb? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is how far I've gotten on the third section of the Bloomtopia. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have an advanced copy, so I've started mm -hmm. the third section. I had to put it away because I lost the sheet. Cash had taken it, and he had put it in his toy box. I have found it since, so <laughs> it's, it's a wild one. Um, but that is what I worked on, and then this is what I finished. So I stitched him along with all of you. Hello, spring. I didn't have um, the called for for the cup, so I used eggshell. And it just looks just as fine. Mm -hmm. I saw um, Cheryl had put farm life on hers and mm -hmm. she did it in a, a, a scoop, a feed scoop. There was April, I think, who put home girl on it. Like so many people are yes. personalizing it. I yeah. absolutely love seeing that. So thank you so much for stitching along. Mm -hmm. We truly appreciate it and showing and sharing your progress. Mm -hmm. Yep. We love it. And don't forget to use the PC crunch for crunch and PC hello spring, hello spring for the other one. Are you done? Yeah, kind of. Okay, so for Bloomtopia, yep. I finished the third part. This is the stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop for Make-A-Wish. And I really want to get, so I'll do the fourth part this week. I want to have it done for when we go to Fat Quarter Shop in June. So this can be one of the videos we do on how to finish it. Yep. Then, it's open. It, right behind your computer. Remember Chelsea's egg crate? Well, I laughed so hard at the person. Mom said that I was really rude, so I apologize <laughs> if you took offense to it. I laughed so hard at the person who said I bought the wrong size chicken because she like jammed the big chicken in there. And that's something that I would do, and I laughed. I was like, "LOL." Mom's like, "You were so rude." I'm so I'm sorry if that was. But you put a laughing face, so I thought you were okay with joking about it. So hers is on the uh, regular coffee tea dyed, and I did mine on gray coffee tea dyed. That looks good. And then I'm using the spring floss pack, except for the brown. So can you hold that up? And I was afraid that my white wasn't going to show on it. I was going to start over, and then I was like, ah, it's fine. I think it's totally fine. So. Thank goodness. I'm going to finish my Priscilla's exactly. using my this, color yeah, recommendations. I am. I'm using ah! all her colors. <laughs> but I want to use that same fabric for the background because, like I said, that's really old and vintage. Has a lot of memories. Okay, this. This is... Milk and Cream Company from Plum Street Samplers. So I have also started the, I started this for Mania, the Wool and Flax Company. And all I got done was the, the roof on the barn. But I am going to be doing all the colors the same as this because I want to frame them together or mount them together on something. And I was going to put them in our downstairs powder room, but I'm thinking I might put them up in our bedroom. Oh, okay. That's yours. Isn't it cute though? I, yes. I pulled out my, I love this. my barn one to work on this week and then I just never got to it. 
but it's in my laundry basket. My mom got me this really cute laundry basket. It's, it's a laundry basket, but it's cute. I needed um, something to put in all the Ray Dunn that I had gotten her for mm -hmm. Christmas. For Christmas, and I put it next to my stitching chair, and that's where all my stuff stays. Okay, this is Witchy Wednesday. I did her hat, her hair, and her broom. All I have left is her face and her hands. So, I really like her. Yep, I'll definitely have her finished, or the two of them finished by Halloween if I keep doing a little bit every week. So that was for Witchy Wednesday. This dog showing her teeth at me. Well, then stop looking she at her. She needs braces. Stop looking at her now. <sighs> <laughs> she touched me. <laughs> My Christmas list. I did some of this for <laughs> Santa Sunday or Merry Monday. I don't remember which one. Okay. A lot of people want to know when you're going to get this done so they can know your colors because they want to use your colors. So. Okay, so all I did was the white words. And then I got sidetracked and had to do something else. Chelsea probably needed me to do something. <laughs> yeah, so she stitches it and then she tells me things that need to be fixed or if I made an error on the chart, if we want to change something completely. And Chelsea's also showed me how to use the program too, so I've gotten my hands on some of them. So mm -hmm. it's fun. Very much a joint effort. And then my last thing that I did for Santa Sunday, Merry Monday was the, I think that fabric might be evening blue. It's pretty. What is this called? Snow Village. Snow Village. And this one is Peppermint. The, okay, yeah. So I have the tree and the snow on the bottom left. So I'll finish that this weekend and then... That's my one a month. Gosh, where would this come out of? Oh. It would be bad. Okay, so that's all I worked on. That's all, yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I you showed that. Okay. We, um, that's it. <laughs> we did the video last week, and Cash was over here and all his stuff, and his blanket had covered up something that we were supposed to show last week. So I want to show that first. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you don't think that we forgot about you. But by the time we saw it, the video was already up and I couldn't take it down mm -hmm. because it had taken 17 hours to upload Yes, it took so week. long oh, last week. Yeah. Um, so this was from Michelle and she sent us the picture of it. And then she also sent us... Well, it's a pattern. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? So it's a, a sewing, like a, a bobbin rack. And then these are um, for like pins. Mm-hmm. They're adorable, but I wanted to show this picture. Was it in here? Yes. Yeah, but you need her info because she can sell them. Look at this hutch just full of them. I just need a hutch full of chickens like this. But she sent, oh, she said, if any of your viewers would like to purchase one, certainly we can make that happen. They can contact me at, can you read that? Yep. LibertyQuilts at charter.net for more information. But it comes like this, and then there's instructions on how to put it together. I can't show them. I don't think. I think that's like a roll. Right? So we'll put it down below where you can just click on it. But I think it's so awesome. With this vintage spools on it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. We love that. Thank you very much, and we're sorry we didn't show Thank up last week. We were, we were a mess. And somebody said that we need to start drinking espresso. <laughs> or they think we are drinking espresso. One of the two. Mm -hmm. All right. This was from the Crafter Emporium. So I got this a couple of days ago. She had sent us um, some project bags before. I want to read so I make sure I get it right. Uh, we added a thread bed and needle minder since the last ones we sent you. We hope you enjoy them. So, so it must be like a sticky thing like our Lori Holt boards. Yeah. Um, so this is one of the bags. And then inside. Oh, that's awesome. They have a little bag. And they have one of these felt guys. And this has the magnet on it. So your needle will stick there. Very cute. And then this was the second bunch. With cute, cute bunnies. And then they also started Did making. Show the little project bag? The matches? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an. Okay, so an altered notebook is what she's calling it. And she's like, when I saw the Disney papers, I had to make them for you. So these are super cute. And then there's a notebook on the inside. And you keep, keep track of your projects on there. Super, super cute. So she's, um, their names are Sarah and Heather. And they're at the Crafter Emporium. So we'll link them below. Yes. 
She said, I think it would be a good idea if Priscilla designed quilting fabric. Need to talk to Kimberly about that. Ha ha. Woo! Alrighty. So next, <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate it. Um, next we have what was new at Fat Quarter Shop and then I'll get into the rest of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So I already showed you one. I had opened mine. <clears throat> I tea coffee dyed this. I forgot to bring it. I'll bring it next time. These are Lori Holt's, um, 25 count, 25 count. So there it'll is, be 12 and a half count unless you stitch over one. Right. This is overcast. This is barley and this is a uh, cloud. These are 18 by 27 pieces. 18 by 27 inch pieces. Here, you want to hand those to me? Yes. So uh, everything in this box oh, is from Fat Quarter Shop and it's going to be today's giveaway. Oh, okay. Uh, this but we'll go is over that later. Lady Dot Creates. This is hip hop. This Look is that the color. twill tape that Kathy used to finish hers. Awesome. This is Teresa Kogut, uh, yeah. Be Kind. Cute. Teresa Kogut, Two Homes. Holiday Hoopla St. Patrick's Day by With Thy Needle and Thread. This is cute. Mm -hmm. I love I that. Don't, I didn't do St. Patrick's Day. I, I know you said remember. that you said you didn't do Valentine's Day either. And then you had a whole tree up for $19.99 in the family room. <laughs> <It was $17. laughs> Valentine's Day Holiday Hoopla. This is Snow Village Frozen Hot Chocolate Shop. She um, did a sneak of her... The next one? Yeah, the next one, too. I think it was a stand or something. What was it? Popsicles. Popsicle stand, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Love Whirly Gig. That's cute. This is so cute. It would look cute on my Valentine's tree. <laughs> All right, uh, and then this is a Prairie Schooler Animal Alphabet. Super cute. Yep, and Chelsea and I didn't have that one. <laughs> yeah, that's one we didn't have. Yep. And like we did the Christmas alphabet, we could do different pieces of that too. If you were doing it for like a nursery, you and could spell out the kids' names. Also, name. those two pieces of Ada. I'm sorry. Yes, these were part of the um, the fabric of the month club, so we're gonna include those as part of today's giveaway. But we'll get in that later. Just yeah, to stay tuned. All right. So we've got some cards. This is from Kim Marie. She um, she's one of the ones that sent me a Pandora charm and. She talks about her daughter stitching. So she want to give away. We want to say thank you. Thank you. This is from Paula. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Paula. She made us a beautiful card. Wow. And the Disney chart. Thank you. Wow. Okay, this is from Edie. Edie, you have the most elegant handwriting. I had to like show my husband because it's just like dainty and beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but she also made this cute card. This is the front. Just saying thank you. She want to give away. Thank you so much. Then this is Susan. Susan was very generous. She want to give away. And then she sent us Hobby Lobby gift cards. Thank you, Susan. You didn't have to do that. We so appreciate it, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Put that over there so I can do the thank you note, please. This, oh, I've never seen these. This is from Ruthie. She's saying we smell. This is a set of three Ray Dunn air fresheners. I've never seen air Dunn, a, Ray Dunn air fresheners. Have you? Mm -mm. That's so awesome. And I was joking. I know you. I know Ruthie. You care <laughs> about us. Ray Dunn card, too. Yes. Thank you. Lucy Durbin, she sent us a couple things. Oh, this is beautiful. This is another Valentine's card. This is from Patty. Patty, this is an adorable card. All those little flowers cut out and then put together to make a heart. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cute. This is from Charmin. Oh. These are cute. Some epoxy stickers. One of my favorite things. wanted to do a little hint there so I can't. All right, this is from Marlene. Marlene, you, mm -hmm. you girl, mm -hmm. are my MVP. Um, so <laughs> she made us Sandra's tables. <laughs> She's trying to say that my handwriting is sloppy when I'm writing the giveaways. Woo! I, oh yeah, we can't show, but she made us g giveaway labels. Thank you, Marlene. And she made us this adorable card. Here's the note. Oh, 
Hey, very handy for those. <laughs> this one? You didn't even open this one yet? What is it? Oh, because it's addressed to me? Oh. You know what? I don't think I'm supposed to share this one. You, okay. can, you can look, but I don't think I'm supposed to share that one. Okay, next is um, Floss of the Month Club from Fat Quarter Shop. Eh. We're going to have to pause the video for this one. Okay, Floss of the Month Club, we will show you in just a minute. There's a lot this week. This is from Wendy. Oh, from the Heart Needle Art. I'm just going to show there was a chart in here. I'm not going to okay. say who it's from. Okay. There was a Disney chart in there that she shared with me. So these are from Wendy, and she's from the Heart Needle Art. She has been in several of these our are new um, market, market yeah. releases. So you're seeing a sneak peek here. Um, and those see. will go in the giveaways for today, too. The sampler petites will be followed with part two and three over the next few months, and they can be stitched all together for another option. Um, so again, she has a website, and we'll link her below. This is this one's called Sampler Petite, so this is the one that I was talking about that sections two and three uh, will be released in the coming months. This is called Spring <laughs> Spring Begins. <laughs> it just whipped it. I just don't want stuff getting messed up. So much it's over there that it won't. And get... this third one is called Stitching Tools. Super cute. Thank you so much, Wendy. So we'll, we will link her information below. All right. Next up is Carol, our friend Carol. First, she sent this. So for Cash being a salesman, she said, <laughs> um, because he demoed her bags, uh, she sent us the singing. He sings for a long time, so I'm not going to turn it on for you, but his ears go hide and seek, and mm -hmm. he plays um, mm -hmm. Do Your Ears Hang Low. Thank you so much. He absolutely loves mm -hmm. it. He was scared of it at first, but then he was like, oh my goodness, this is so awesome. Then she sent us her new bags. Look at that. Isn't that cute? With the sweets on the back. And this one is the baking stuff. Oh my goodness, I love this. And these are her regular size bags with mm -hmm. the handles. And Thank you, Carol. And then she got, yeah, 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 yeah. I had to get up. She sent a super climbing Santa. I can't even tell you how excited my husband was to see this. And he doesn't get into the Christmas stuff like I do, but he was like, oh my gosh. And then the elf. Mm -hmm. So these are awesome. I can't wait to display them next mm -hmm. year. They're going to be. Thank you so much, Carol. That was so kind of you. Okay. And then. I think Cash sold a lot of bags for her. <laughs> <laughs> He's very funny. I'm going to get him in here. Don't worry. I'll get him in here mm -hmm. at the end of it. I want you all to see his hair as it is because this weekend, snip, snip. Everyone says, oh, his, she's like, his hair's got to go. <laughs> it's longer than mine. <laughs> all right. Next up, this came yesterday. This is from Linda. She wrote us a lovely note. Mm -hmm. She sent us this that we could keep or use as a giveaway. This is Madam Cottontail. This is by With Thy Needle and Thread. So I was going to start this the other night, but I couldn't find my gray check fabric that I just showed you last week. I think Chelsea took it home. She said that, and I didn't. <laughs> but then now Chelsea has it, so we can both start it. Yep. This she sent for me for Valentine's Day. She said it's about 20 to 30 years old. Look at the this. Face. How amazing is this? Very cute. I absolutely love it. It says Donald Daisy carved into the tree. <gasps> it's a hint. Okay, and then uh, she sent us Red um, Rose Tea. What she's talking about. We've never had this before, but I think it's from England because I think when I went to England, I had it there, but I've never like had it recently. Here. Yeah. And then she sent us some trinkets that they used to sell with these. She said you don't have to explain it because she put, put it in the card, but she sent us those. She collected a set for mom, and she also got mom birds for her spring decor Thank that you. are super cute. What else? This was for cash. It's old too. Yes. And uh, so cute. 
and then this little barn for mom that opens up. She she likes thrifting too, and she found a bunch of stuff. Look at how cute this is. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Uh, what else? Gotta end up missing too. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Santa mug. That one she sent for me. No, I read it in the card. <laughs> and then she sent us some charts. You can have both boxes of two bags. <laughs> for a trade. Thank, thank you, you thank so you, much. Thank you. And then some trinkets. Yes. We loved opening the box. Yes. It was very thank exciting. You. And I'm excited to try this tea. I've never, it's black tea, so I've never had it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. Right. It'd be cheaper than Tazo, maybe. But does it come by the case for my own <laughs> Tazo tea is expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right, so all right. This, last week we had giveaways, right? Mm -hmm. Last week we announced that we were so grateful that we had over 19,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you for subscribing. Thank you for watching and sharing with us each week. And we're listening to us. Blab, blab, blab. <laughs> we appreciate it. So first we want to announce those. Uh, so first we had the bucket that mom was going to finish. You didn't put it over here. Right? No, but there's one behind right us. here. So you're going to mail us your piece and then mom will yes, finish it on the bucket. Two weeks to get it to me because like I said, we got retreat stuff. That she got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, okay, so the duh, the winner of the bucket is James Patrick Handcrafted. Congratulations. And Exciting. then the stand, you're going to send us your jar stitch piece, and we have the stand already, and mm -hmm. then we'll ship it back to you. The winner for that is going to be Robin Blair. Congratulations. Okay, so it doesn't matter which chock full it is, whether it's the sunflowers or the the new bunnies or whatever, but just get it to me within two weeks. Yeah. So email us and let us know that you understood that you're a winner. Mm -hmm. So we know, and, we'll and then we the can address. share you, uh, share it, uh, address with you. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we showed you our new floss pack. So this is the spring floss pack you can get at Fat Quarter Shop. Thank yep. you so much. Um, two winners. The colors Doreen, are beautiful. The, they are. Doreen Deskins and megan rogers congratulations you won the spring floss pack you know my spiel you go below my email address is listed our email address is listed there you email us if you don't hear from us within 24 hours send us mass emails okay all right thank you send us your physical address your real name your youtube name your date of birth your <laughs> just kidding don't send us that it was a joke it's just a joke it's just a joke okay joke all right next up we had from Ladonna at sampling of memories she sent us these beautiful um, stitching notions. Mm -hmm. So the first one was a jar. Did you tie these together? No, for they some? came that way. Oh, God. <laughs> Here, there's the okay, jar. there's the jar. All right, so the jar. You can open the floss fix and now you can't open the. <laughs> Did you get the floss fix open? Absolutely. Okay, good. So the jar goes to Whimsy Stitcher. Congratulations. This is this month's floss fix. Yes, it is pinks for February. Uh, so organza pink, little pink peony, prickly pear, cerise, sea shelly, and clay pot. This is the club Beautiful. from Fat Quarter Shop. You get six, six, not five, a month. <laughs> it's a nice way to build up your fancy floss stash in different shades of the same color. Yep. Just something to do. All right. Next is another one from LaDonna at Sampling of Memories. This is the truck. This goes to April Jackson. Congratulations, April. And last but not least, this is the wagon, and it goes to Gala Corsi. 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 All right. Next up, we had Chalk Full Hip Hop, and we had a boatload of those. So let's just list them off. Pamela Marion. And these are from Kathy and Mom. Kathy at Hands on Design. She charts them. Mom draws them. Thank you so much, Kathy. This goes to Pamela Marion. Kindred Stitcher. You get the upside down one. <laughs> Gloria Hanaway, Regina Ballard, Yvonne English, Karen Cawthorn, Lori DeFord, 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 and Diane McLelland. Woo! You're gonna stitch some bunnies. Next up from a viewer, we had uh, Joy in the Journey, and this was a, a Janelin cross stitch kit. This goes to Linda Spost. And last but not least, this is the Creative Carol Project Bag. And this goes to Rachel Justice. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you.
Thank you for entering. Thank you for answering the questions. Thank you for following the rules. Don't put those in the bag so that when we have to pick them out, we, I know. we don't have oh, to know. dig through it. Okay, so for today's giveaway, are you writing this down or are we just doing it? We're just doing it. Okay, so number one will be two choice, two options. No, opportunities. Two people will win a piece of Ada. It's called Ivory. It's an 18 by 25 inch piece and it's a 14 count Ada. So two for opportunities to win number one. Those are from Fact Quarter Shop. Number two is a floss fix. The February floss fix from Fat Quarter Shop. The empty bag, we will take the floss. I'm just kidding. No, you get the whole floss back. Okay, that's number two. Okay. Number three is uh, from the Heart Needle Art. This is one of her new market releases, and this is Spring Begins. Sampler Petites Part 1 is number four. And number five is Stitching Tools. Num well, different. Yep, number six is going to be uh, Cloud, 25 count. Number seven is Overcast. Number eight is Barley. Beef and barley soup sounds really good right now. Number nine is going to be the Love Whirly Gig. Love. Number 10. Frozen Hot Chocolate Shop. Let it go, let it go. There's two. Numbers. 11, you have two opportunities to win the Valentine's Day Holiday Hoopla. Number 12, St. Patrick's Day Holiday Hoopla. Number 13, Teresa Kogut, Be Kind. Number 14, Two Homes. Number 15, the, what's it called? Um, twill tape. Twill tape. Hip hop. What number is that? Number 13. And last but not least, the next number in the line, you have to be following along to know what number it is. And that one you'll enter for this. Animal alphabet. Number 15. We don't know. Just answer the number after this. You guys can all count. I believe in you. You have to be listening to win one of the giveaways. <laughs> don't say giveaway. Don't say Be a subscriber, like the video, yes. and comment below, not any place else. Nowhere else did the comments get counted. We feel like a huge weight is off our shoulders after doing that Rit Dye video because every video for the comments, there'd be like three people. When's the Rit Dye coming? So <laughs> we just feel a lot better about getting that yes. off of our plate. Mm -hmm. Next up is the appetizer video or something. Cooking. No, but, but we will um, do a second video do a second video where we show using more colors. Yes, can I go get the kid now? Sure. Okay. Hold and, and, here and see what came at the door too, in case that's something that we need to show. So if you like following along with us, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine, at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we... <laughs> do you think we need to show this? I don't know. Chelsea's running around with a box. <laughs> Normally you're going to be paused, but we're doing them a favor because we'll get a quicker upload if we just let it roll. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> oh, it's probably Kimberly stitching, or what is it? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Wait. Yeah, do we show it? No. No. I think it's her project for their new yeah, club. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, follow us at Priscilla Blaine yeah. at Chelsea three five six Priscilla's two thousand on Facebook at Priscilla's two thousand at blogspot com and where you see all the the information that you would possibly need. So here comes cash. And also, if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. Yeah, you can see that. And please he hashtag your. Your cups, we want to see them. Can you show them what you got? What do you got? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, did you just like it? All right, so the next time you see him, he'll be a different boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm emotional about it. I'm ready. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you say hi? No, he's got a cookie. Okay. Is she your favorite? Hey, look who's that. <laughs> is she your favorite? No. no. Okay. <laughs> She's mine. 
Yes. All right, so we appreciate you following along with us. We appreciate you stitching and um, downloading the Crunch and the Hello Spring. We have so loved seeing all of those. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. All of the um, well wishes about being cover models. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We were super excited. We were so surprised. We emailed Deb and flipped out. We were super yes. excited. <laughs> Um, uh, so that should be out in a couple weeks. Yep, and then um, Fat Quarter Shop is curating. Yes, they have the floss pack. The floss pack and we for saw our the, the 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 colors. Yeah, the wood packaging. Yep, yeah, the packaging is very cute. All right, we've loved. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs>